Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanna show you guys how to maintain your motorhome and the exterior in particular. And the reason why we're watching this cool drone footage of the Queen Mary and all the boats is because the boats are made out of fiberglass and the Queen Mary is made out of steel. And what are our RVs and motorhomes made out of? Steel and fiberglass. I'm gonna teach you how to protect those from the elements to make sure what's going on with the Queen Mary right now where it's in total disrepair and they're talking about potentially sinking it or what they're gonna do with this historic landmark. Let's make sure those type of situations don't happen to our RVs and motorhomes. And how we can do that is some simple preventative maintenance. What we wanted to do in this video was really talk about what it's gonna to take to maintain this new motorhome that we just bought as far as the exterior goes. It's a big surface, it's a lot of surface. And what I didn't realize after walking around is there's a ton of different surfaces. So the front bumper is made out of steel and it's got chrome on it. Then the front grill is plastic with a plastic chrome on top of that. The front cab of the, of the Ford E450 is still made out of steel. It's not aluminum like the F-150s, uh, but that's a steel with paint on top of it, and there's some decals on top of that in a few spots. And then the majority of the motorhome is fiberglass, but there are different surfaces there as well because we have partial body paint. So some of it is just the white gel coat on the fiberglass, and some of it is a partial body paint, a black metallic paint on top of the white fiberglass. In addition to that, there's other spots where there's some rubber with paint over it. There's some white rubber that's on the corners. And we have one spot where the heater cover is. It's a little thin piece of aluminum with white paint on it. So there's a ton of different surfaces on this motorhome and I want to protect them from the elements because we've all been to those RV resorts and seen those old beat up motorhomes that are faded and chalky. And uh, let's not let that happen to our motorhome or our RV, right? And that's what I want to talk about is these new products that are out there. Number one is you don't have to buy RV specific stuff. Anything that says RV is going to add like two or three bucks to the price for the same thing. And it's probably not any better. Uh, boats, cars, they're all similar surfaces. And um, the old days you would just put wax on everything, whether it was a boat or whether it was a car. Uh, regardless of finish, whether it was lacquer or acrylic enamel or epoxy, whatever type of paint you had, you'd put wax on it. And wax is pretty phenomenal. It works great. It's just not very durable. It doesn't last for a long time. And considering the size of these motorhomes and RVs that we have, uh, it could take a really long time to wax it every four or five months. And depending on the elements outside, uh, heat and things like that, or just a rough environment like in the Arizona desert or California desert or maybe in the south, the deep south, like Atlanta or Florida where it gets really hot, uh, you're gonna have to wax that thing probably a couple times a year at least to keep it looking pretty good. And that's a major labor, major labor. So I wanna look at some products that are more durable. And the big thing that everyone's talking about and doing now is a ceramic finish. So when we bought our motor home, they wanted 900 bucks and they were trying to sell it to us at the time we bought the motorhome to ceramic finish this thing and i was like no it's maybe 50 75 bucks worth of product that they're going to put on it and the rest of it's all labor well my labor is a lot cheaper than theirs and in your free time it doesn't really take that long but some of the old ceramic products that were sold were really difficult to apply and they required a lot of surface prep and a lot of Kind of having to know what you're doing and able to cut and buff and really clay bar and do some uh, surface correction before you could put it down. But those days are over because of a new product that's come out by Meguiar's uh, that is really simple. And uh, you can do your entire motorhome and the way I figured it out for a good year or more uh, for about 50 bucks. And there's three products I want to show you. And the first one is this one right here. It's from Meguiar's Ceramic Wax. And I picked this one too because number one, it just goes on real simple. You just rub it on, you let it set for a few minutes. It's like a white kind of color. And um, you rub it on and you wipe it off. And then that's it. Um, and it creates like a chemical bond to the paint. And they say it's gonna give you, you know, a good six months worth of protection. But it's the application that's so simple. You do not have to buff this and let it haze off like wax. It just applies really simple with a microfiber cloth and then you let it set up for three to five minutes and then you buff it off. So that's really cool and it's a ceramic coating which is gonna really help do that hydrophobic and that's a big word that you're gonna see all the time, hydrophobic. It basically means that water beads up really easily on it. 
So when you rinse your motorhome off, the water just comes right off. It really helps washing uh, your motorhome become a lot more easy because when you rinse it off, uh, that dirt sticks to the water and the, the beads just drop right off. They don't sheet and stick to the motorhome. And we'll show you an example of that. I've got some pretty remarkable video of some before and after of what the water does on the side of the motorhome. But this is 15 bucks at Walmart. And that's why I picked it. You can get it at Walmart. You don't have to get it online. You don't have to find anything special. Walmart, 15 bucks. But that does have to be applied kind of with a cloth. But Meguiar's has even made it more easy. And I saw this product and I tried it. And it's the same thing. It's a ceramic wax in a spray. Now this one, they say, you just have to wash your motorhome. And then while it's still wet, you spray this on. And then you spray it again. And then dry it off. So I was like, nah, I kind of want to get it in there. So while it was wet, I took a damp microfiber towel, small one, I sprayed this on and then I just kind of rubbed it in to the surface really good and it worked great. It took me not very long to do the whole back section and it's about 30 minutes. So you're talking an eight foot wide by 10 foot tall maybe section of motorhome that I did in about 30 minutes using primarily this product and it turned out amazing, like fantastic. I will always use this stuff moving forward. It's so much easier to use than wax. So I think it's 16 bucks, 15 bucks. And then the touch up between washes uh, is this stuff here. It's a ceramic detailer. And so what this is, is after you put your ceramic coating on, the next time you wash it, uh, you kind of spray this on while it's kind of wet and you dry with this stuff. And it's a ceramic detailer. And again, it's like 15 bucks, 15, 16 bucks. So you get those three bottles and it'll go around the motorhome easy. I mean, I, the, the fill's like right here still, and I just did that whole back corner of the motorhome and it didn't hardly use anything. So this should get you around, my motorhome's 28 feet, I'm pretty sure this will get me around the whole thing. So that's the product, we're gonna put it on and show you how to use it, but I'm excited because this stuff turned out like glass. I mean, it literally turned the back paint of my motorhome to a legitimate mirror. And you'll see, it's like I could brush my hair in, in the finish on my motorhome. I was literally shocked how reflective and shiny this stuff was. So uh, let's learn together. Okay, so this is a surface before application. You can see it's just no water beating at all. Zero. All right, let's try it here. Same thing, water's sheeting off, it's not beating. Yeah, there's no beating going on whatsoever. So this product is Gonna get a test here. Okay, with the surface wet, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this on. It's a spray wax. We're gonna rub it in and see how it goes. Just like that. No more elbow grease than that. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a little bit down here. And a little bit there. We're gonna let it sit five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes. I'm just gonna buff it out real quick. Wipe this stuff off. Feels really smooth, really smooth. 
That's it. Okay, here we go, moment of truth. Now you guys can see the difference. All that water beating. All that water beating that wasn't there before. Okay, now I did half this mirror. We're gonna see which half I did. Uh, yeah, that's pretty obvious. Obviously the one on the left has been ceramic coated and the one on the right hasn't been. Look how the water just beaded off that left side of the mirror. That's unbelievable. That's why you do this, exactly. So while I was washing the motorhome, I noticed this black goopy material that the soap was in me gutting. And I'm not sure where it came from. It looks factory, uh, like maybe it's the silicone uh, from installation where it didn't set up and it's on this front leading vinyl rubber edge on the motorhome. And I had to figure out how to take that off. You can see it's just been attracting goop and grime. So I tried Goo Gone, uh, automotive goo and sticker remover. This is off the shelf, another Walmart product, and it's not expensive at all. I think it was $9. And I just sprayed it on, making sure to keep it away from the decals best I could and let it set up for a few minutes. Then I just grabbed a little microfiber cloth and rubbed it in and it took it right off. And this is a citrus based product. What you don't want to use is acetone, lacquer thinner, paint thinner, something like that that could really uh, affect and damage your surface of your motorhome. Uh, so this is a great product. If you're in a campsite with pine trees and sap and whatnot, it will work fantastic on that. I use it on some sap on a window. So it's a great product, I recommend it. Okay, here we go. Let's try the chrome hubcap. They're actually chrome over plastic. Yeah, not really any water beating. the decal and fiberglass section. Actually, the decals have a pretty good amount of beading. It's the fiberglass section that doesn't have any. But the water's beading off the decals pretty good. Okay, I got this foam applicator. We got this at the dollar store, believe it or not. Two pack with the thing for the wheels. So I'm gonna try and apply it with this and we'll see how it goes. better beating on the decals and they were kind of beating before but you can see huge difference so one surface I want to try is the steel bumper with the matte flat black finish let's give that a shot wipe this off but you can see this bumper it already has like a sheen to it that it didn't have before it was kind of a flat black color 
Now it's kind of shiny. Just a quick buff. And let's see how this does. Okay, bumper test. Wow. Big difference. Works on flat black paint. Almost every one of our RVs and motorhomes at some point will be exposed to salt and the elements. And here's a perfect example, this campground with the salt and sea. There's minerals, there's salt, there's heat, there's dust. There's a lot of really corrosive things here. And you know, most of the country, whether it's the West Coast, the Gulf, or salty roads in the Midwest, you're gonna have to go under there and you're gonna need to clean your undercarriage off because if you don't, it's gonna rust out really quick. And that's why I recommend Salt Away. It's really simple. You hook it up to the garden hose, you hose off your undercarriage after you've exposed it to the elements, and that's it, you're done. So thanks for watching, guys, appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.